Hi everyone, I'm Mike Mixon from KeyboardAmerica.com here in Lewis Beach, Delaware and welcome to our Song of the Week in Buttons class. This week, Something Stupid is a great song for you to learn. Uh, I picked it because the repetition in the chords are very easy and I want you to learn how to play chords without looking and this is one of the best songs to do that with strategically. I'm also going to give you a little trick and a tip with your eight registration memories where you have your eight favorite sounds programmed in. This little trick and tip that I'm going to give you is very interesting. How I'm going to add to my organ sound by reaching over and touching my part select button. And plus there will be a close up of the chords later and also a second video on just the chords and the fingering so that uh, you can watch the short video instead of the uh, full lesson video when you want to practice your chords. It's something we're doing now. So let's get started on the first song, Something Stupid. Okay, so here's a close-up look of the music. And what I'm doing now is I'm putting the actual rhythm style right on the music. So we're going to want to go to Latin, page 4. We're going to select the slow bossa nova. We're actually going to change the tempo to 112. We're going to use intro 2 variation A. And at the end of the song, we're going to use ending 3. Now, the songs, uh, the sounds that I've chosen for this is cocktail piano, full theater organ, cocktail piano again. When I get to this full theater organ and start to use it, as I go through the song, you're going to see that little trick about your part select. Uh, when I add a beautiful glockenspiel underneath of it. I will also have a video on that. So your chord changes are here, your F major 7, G minor 7, C7, G minor 7, C7. Now these first two lines right here between the C7 and the G minor 7, I'm actually going to throw another G minor 7 and C7 in there. So I'm actually going to do it three times and that's why it's such a great, you're only going to have to move two fingers, it's such an easy move, you're going to love this song and it's going to really make you get these chords down without looking. Of course down here as well on the last line, you know, you have your uh, F7, C minor 7, F7. Once again, if you don't feel like playing this C minor here, you don't have to. It's going to sound great without it, so if you struggle with this C or F7, then don't worry about the C minor chord. And also on the music, you're going to see where I put variation D when to switch your variation. So if you're a premium member and have bought your or bought your books from us, you'll be able for me to email these chord changes to you. If not, you can just grab them real quick by hitting pause on the screen and putting them on your music. So let's get started and listen to what it's going to sound like. Okay, we're ready to get started now, and I'm going to go to my first registration memory. And here's my part select over here. You're going to see me uh, use this part select when I'm using this beautiful organ that I have on number six. And uh, you'll get a close up of the video of that as well. So we're going to start out here, and we've already got my settings set. I'm not going to have my OTS link on at all because I just want to use my own sounds here. Record, start, and intro two. And of course, we are ready to go.
sounds great, doesn't it? I'm going to put uh, my uh, part select back on right one there. And you saw how I just pressed this button to add that glockenspiel in. And by the way, you'll be able to do that on every one of your eight registration memories when you see this little trick and tip. So that's what we're doing there. So we'll get a look at that in just a few minutes. Let's get a close up of the chords and watch how easy this is. And I'm really expecting you guys to get these chords easy, especially for the first page. And uh, I think you're going to find this to be a great practice piece. Okay, here's a close up of the chords, and you can see five, three, two, one. Here's your F major seven. Let's put that piano on. Move your hand up, your G minor seven. Here's where it gets easy. Look at that two finger move. G minor seven. C7, G minor 7, C7. Back to your F major 7. Now here's where you can hit your F7 and ignore the C minor if you want. Do that again and I'll change the chord. Look at that, F7 to C minor, F7, C minor. B flat 7, back to the G minor. Now, interestingly enough, even on that part, you can add another G minor 7 and C7. And I'm adding chords to what I already have on my sheet music here, uh, but there's a lot you can do to make it sound nice. If you add the extra uh, G minor 7 and C7, you're obviously going to be practicing those moves. And it's only a two finger move, so it's really nice that way. Now, let's put the rhythm on just for a second. Notice there I used this B flat instead of the one I used earlier, and that might be one you're used to there. And so that's what you're used to. I'm used to going up here for me. But it sounds the same either way. G7 now. Now, right there on the second page when we're playing this part, it calls for a D minor. If you notice, I didn't even put that in there. Here's what it would be with the D minor in there. Okay, so here's the right side of the keyboard, and this is a little trick and tip that I was going to show you. Let's say, for instance, I put this six on, which is the theater organ. Now the theater organ I'm using is within Organ World. You'll see that's lit up. It's Full Theater 2 is the actual name of that organ, because I know you're going to want that. So if I push the theater and go on to uh, Theater Organ using my tabs, I'm going to want to put on number five preset there. And I'll show you that in just a second uh, when we finish this part select real quick. Okay, so six is on here and it's an organ sound. I also have my harmony button which gives me a full chord in the right hand. If you noticed, I was getting a full chord in my right hand. So here's a little trick and tip. Here's right one and 
This is your part select. What I did was, is I put on my right two. I went over to my percussion, pressed that, and I chose the glockenspiel in the window. Beautiful glock. And we're going to get a close-up of that in just a second. But before I do the, that, the close-up, I'm actually going to just move this back over here. And I'm going to turn the right two off. And I'm going to hit memory and store. And I'm just restoring over top of the organ that I already have. So you hit memory and then number six again. That way, any time throughout that song, you put the right two sound on, it's going to be a glockenspiel. And guess what, guys? We can do this on any registration memory we want. So not only will you have your favorite eight go-to sounds, but you can put layers on by resaving them after you choose whatever sound you wish to mix with it in your right two, and then just saving back over top. So let's get a look at the screen real quick. Okay, so here we are zoomed out a little bit, and this is our right one, right two. And of course, in the right one, I have Organ World. <clears throat> You'll see the screen change, and you can just tab right over to the theater organ. When you turn it on, it's going to say Vintage there. But we're going to tab all the way over to theater, and on this one, if I press it, you can see five right here. That's the organ sound that I have on. Now, the other thing I'm going to want to do is put my right two on, and it also changes the top button, of course. And you hit your percussion, and my glockenspiel is on right here on page one. Now, we're not quite finished yet. What we're going to do at this point now is go back to my right one before I hit memory and save, but I'm going to turn this particular one off before I do that. Memory, save. So it'll flash, you redo it. I don't want to do it right at this second uh, because I want you to do one more step. So when we put the glockenspiel on under the organ, we're going to hit our balance button here and you're going to want to get to the, the sliders so you can adjust the volume. Now on this beautiful organ that I've selected, other, my other eight, you know that I have those set volume-wise at 127 uh, for the right one all the time. You've heard me talk about that in the videos. But on this organ, it's just too loud at 127. So I actually have the right one on at 82 for that organ. And you can hear that's a good balance. I have the glockenspiel at 100. But here's where you adjust those. Get them the way you want them. If I take the volume down, you can barely hear it now. Wherever you want it. I have mine once again at 100. Now you want to save it. So you're going to hit memory and resave your six button. And guess what? I made a mistake and not on purpose, but this is what we all do. Right here, I want to go back to my part select right one first and also turn off the right two before I save. So I'm going to hit memory and six again. Now it's saved properly. And you can do that on every sound that you select in your registration memory. Okay, here we go. F major 7, right here. G minor 7, take your whole hand, move it up, and you just want to go on to the B flat note here. Here's your G minor 7. To C7. The extra G minor 7 to C7. G minor 7, C7. Just moving those two fingers is just fabulous. Back to your F major from your G7 to your C7. Hold this finger down and make your move. Anytime you can hold a note down from a previous chord, that keeps your hands in place 
And don't forget, you want soft hands, not stiff. You want them in place. So my hands may look stiff, but they're very loose. F major 7 now from your C7. I only moved two fingers. Did you see that? C7 to F major 7. Now here's your F7. What's the difference between an F major 7 and an F7? Right here. Here's your F7. Major 7, F7. One simple move. Notice my hand slides up a little bit too in that. C minor, if you want to do that chord, I'm releasing this finger here and putting my little finger down. This is a little tricky because it's close, but keep in mind you don't really need that C minor in there, but it is a good practice uh, chord because it's a little more difficult than what we're doing. So F7 to C7, boom, look at that. F7, C7, so we're releasing these two fingers and pushing this one down. And that's the individualness that we're talking about. So here's your F7 to B flat. My little finger stayed down on the F. If you notice that, here's your F7. Two finger move again. I play mine up here. If you want to practice that, go for it. But these are all the chords that you're going to need when you get down near the end of the song, we're going to have a G7 to D minor to G7 again. So the G7 is different because we're playing a G minor 7 throughout the whole chord. So we have this F7 here. There it is. And this is on the second page. Here's your G7 now, instead of your G minor. If you remember, G minor 7 was here. But G7, right here, one finger move. Look at that, went from the G7 to the G minor 7 to my C7. Back to the beginning, F major 7, two finger move. Here's the extra chords. One more time. And that's on the rest that's on that music. Once again, you do not need the C minor or the D minor at the end of the song. Okay, so there's your close-up of the chords. And what I really would love for you to do is whenever you're taking our classes or you want to see videos, please go to my Song of the Week in Buttons class page. That's why I put it on there, the Tyros 5 Song of the Week in Buttons class. All our videos are on there. So basically, if you click on a video, it's going to open a second window, so you're never going to leave that particular page for my Song of the Week class. And that way you can really see what we're doing. I put different things on that page each week to help you. So if you always start your lessons and watch my YouTubes from that particular page, you're going to do them in the right order. Everything's going to be a lot easier for you. Uh, we also have a new email address that we're going to put on the screen, tyrosmike at hotmail.com. And uh, we put that on to kind of separate our Tyros uh, emails coming in. It's just made it so much easier with all the emails that come in at our regular address. But we're doing that now, and of course that link is on my Song of the Week in Buttons class page with all my other suggestions. And uh, for those of you out there that need extra help, you know, don't worry, just give us a call or give us an email and uh, whatever we can help you with, we will. 
So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this great song, and I really want you to practice this. These are great moves, and you know we're staying in the key of F and the key of C for about six months here, so the repetition is going to make it so you can play these chords without looking, and that's the secret to your success. Thanks for watching this video. This is Mike Mixon from KeyboardAmerica.com in Lewis Beach, Delaware, saying have a great day and keep playing. Don't forget, click on our link to go to our Tyros 5 Song of the Week page right on this video.